I, I dream, I dream about running behind Coach Stretch with his, uh, his vest on. And, uh, it was just a dream. That's all I can say. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just uh, just watching Todd, how Todd does all his things, and just how how our coaches teach us. I mean, I, I think we have the best quarterback coach in the country, uh, Coach Coach Daniels, and uh, Sis too, Coach Sis. So I mean, uh, they teach you about just being calm. We always talk about being poised in the pocket, delivering the ball, and uh, just feel comfortable and don't let nothing stop you. I mean, that's what that's mainly what Coach Stress and Coach Daniels and them. Just, Make sure we got in our minds and no turnovers. That's mostly it. So I mean, once you take all that in consideration, and just keep hearing it day after day and keep poised, poised. Don't show no discouragement. I mean, that's that's what comes out. Well, I feel fine. And sometimes you're gonna have to take those shots, so uh, you just gotta bounce back. I mean, you don't really have time to think about it. You just gotta have back up. I tried to make it that next play, but they blew the injury whistle on me, so I had to sit one out. Yeah. Now, that's as our goals. Are. You know, our goals are go out there and pitch a shot. Our goals are go out there and hold them. You know, to, to, to not many yards. You know, and you go back and you watch film tomorrow and you see. You know, we, we, we definitely made a couple of mistakes, but uh, you know, we're definitely satisfied with giving them zero points and you know to hold them. You know, negative yards rushing. And that's a great job. I was a little nervous, a little, I was kind of scared, just hoping that he was going to get up. You know, you know me and him are like best friends. I, and I just wanted him to be okay. I, you, know, you don't want to see one of your friends go down. Did you talk to him at all? Yeah, I talked to him. Well, what did he have to say? What was, what was that? I, he said he'd be fine, so everything should be good. I never really said I was in the doghouse. I, I, I wouldn't say that. I would just say that I had a fresh start. You know what I mean? I don't look at it as a bad thing. I always look at it as a good thing. It's, it's trust turned it around for me. Yes, I have. Um, you know, we catch 10 minutes of punts every day. And, um, you know what I mean, I'm practicing getting into the end zone and getting north and south. And uh, that's what Coach Hazel just taught me. He taught me to get north and south and you get more in the, in the NCAA. You know what I mean? In high school, it was cool to go side to side. <laughs> Like, no, just you reporters on the sideline were asking me, you know, yeah. what's wrong and what's the prognosis, but I spoke to Benny now and uh, he said it's just his big turn, he says he'll be fine. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So what would you speak to? Just now? When we are in the training room there, yeah. Oh, yeah? Kill, huh? to, yeah, it's just a big turn. Wow. Yeah. yeah. What are you, what are you? Just taking precautions out there for everyone. Do you, All right. Do you believe it? I, of course I believe him. He's right next to me. He's a good friend of mine. There's obviously less pressure, but I mean, when you're playing for a high state, there's a lot of pressure. When I go out there, I've just got a lot of self-confidence, and you know, I thank God for every opportunity He gives me and uh, to help me out there, and uh, a lot of faith. I mean, faith in Jesus Christ, and just I believe everything's going through. And obviously, when the game's on the line, obviously the, you know, the fans think there's more pressure, but I expect to make every single field goal. I've got, I'm my worst critic, and you know, that's that's how I work.